What's going on, Pokemon Trainers? Welcome back. This is Trainer Connor, and this is... Coupon 98 We are here for the fifth episode of our amazing collaboration in which we both enter in the battle tree, and we battle as many trainers and master trainers as possible. In every episode, we get to change a few things with our team members. If you haven't seen the last video, Check it out, it was really awesome. Now, we have a few changes to make note of here. My side is fine, but Kubal98, what do you, what did you have last time? It was, I had the defensive Alakazam, this time I have the offensive one. So, the idea behind that is, we wanted to try out defensive Alakazam last video, and we actually thought it was, it had the potential to be very defensive, I guess, you could put it that way, but, uh, it had some really good plays in the last video. But now we're going to try an offensive Al Mega Alakazam. There we go. And believe it or not, we can use two Megas. So that is something that we thought was awesome. We didn't know that for certain, but it's good to know that we had that happening there. And now we're going to be doing our fifth episode. We're going to be doing um, battles 14, 15, 16, I believe. And then we'll save 17, 18, 19, 20 in the sixth episode. Does that sound good, deal? Sure. All right. So, Kubal like eight, he is connecting real quickly here. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'm personally enjoying it as... Part of the, when it comes to enjoying it and everything, I think this is a fun project that's, you know, something to do and we're, we're actually enjoying it, you know. This is not a walkthrough or anything, but, you know, it's something fun. So. Yeah, it's definitely not a let's play. Mm-hmm. It's not a let's play. If you're looking for a let's play, you came to the wrong place. All right, so we have connected. That took a little bit longer than I thought, but that's okay. We are ready to roll and get going here in this fifth episode of the Battle Tree. So these guys, what do they have in store for us? Well, let's find out. If we face a Kogo de Mario again, well, you remember, the, I think it was the third episode. Oh my goodness, that was so annoying. But, um... Yeah, every battle is different, and sometimes they will use the same Pokemon, but you never know, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are facing Frostos and Hawlucha, Shark Bite, the Garchomp, and Alakazam. This is his offensive Alakazam here, and yep. I should mention that I put Protect on the Alakazam. I managed to create uh, both Alakazam for Kubo 98, so for situations like this, um, well, I can't really use Earthquake against Hawlucha, but I will go for Rock Slide. And uh, in situations where I have to use Earthquake and there's no Air Balloon or anything like that, Protect is nice because it gives him an opportunity to see what other Pokemon moves are coming his way. And he gets to dodge my Earthquake. So yeah, there you go. Let's see what happens here. I am scared of the frost last, yes, because of Ice Beam, but if I flinch it or kick it out, that would be nice. Cursed Body. Now, this is interesting because I'm Choice Scarf, so I might use Struggle here shortly. Holy smokes! Won't matter because I took it out. Yeah, so there you go. That is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. We flinched the Halucha, but now. You have to face another Ice-type Pokemon. That's, that's not fun. And guess what, guys? You're going to see something totally crazy. I am a Choice Scarf Garchomp. That means my move is disabled, so I have to use Struggle. And that is not something you don't want to see here. <laughs> oh, man. It's using Taunt. Shadow Claw. <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, you are for protect. Great play by my ally here. However, you should have used, the bear should have used the ice type move. 
and it has no moves, but I do have struggles, so it's doing some damage, which is great, but... It's also doing damage to you. Yes. For those who don't know, struggle does a lot more back to you than to the opposition. That's something that I can't control right now, but that is okay. Avalanche, that's going to probably kill me at this point, but that's fine, because I have my Mega Alakazam. The rough skin. Yep. Yes. Awesome. So let's go into Alakazam here. Or I mean, <laughs> yeah, you can't bring two Alakazam. <laughs> that would be too overpowered there. But I have a <laughs> Mega Kangaskhan, which is as good as Mega Alakazam. And guess what? Both Megas can be in the same fight. So let's go ahead and Mega Evolve here. I'm going to go for Fake Out on the Bear Kick here. Because your Alakazam is an offensive variant, yep. you're probably not going to survive an Avalanche, but that's um, why I'm going for Fake Out on the Kang. Or if he's going to go for a grass, grass type attack, but yeah, I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to survive any physical attacking moves with your Alakazam. That's okay. But the Bear is fainted, so. Mm -hmm. Don't have to worry about the bear tick anymore. Yay. Okay, so we have to face just the chestnut. And I'll go with return, set it twice. Spiky shield, it fails. You can't use it twice. Psychic? Yeah, you're faster than me. That is something. Okay, so I don't have to use return, but that's fine. Always be mindful when you have your opponent, or I mean your ally, I should say. I keep saying opponent, but. Your ally might be faster than you, but that's okay. We received three battle points. Number 15. We're, all We're almost Dang. there. Dang. <laughs> this is going pretty well, quickly. What do you think? Well, we are making things easier for ourselves. I think the Pokemon that we chose is also a factor, but you never know. I personally think that we're going at a decent pace, and that's good. I will say that episode probably six or seven, depending on where we are, it'll be longer because we have to face the master trainer. So that is something to keep in mind there. Indeed. Okay, so we're facing Venusaur and Whimsicott, both grass types. Who are you going for? I suppose I could do this. I could go for Iron Head and handle the Whimsicott. Go for the flinch chance while you can go for the Psychic on the Venusaur. But I'm not making you do that. No, I'm that. actually going to go, go for it anyway. Well, that works longer. So I'm going to go for Iron Head here. I will be choice scarf, so I will go first. And uh, here's Alakazam, Mega Evolving. See what we can do with what we've got here. This should be an easy fight, but you never know. You choice the Prankster ability there. Iron Head, super effective. Let's see if we can flinch it. No. Psychic. See how much that does. Oh! Okay. Okay, we do flinch to him to cut. I think it oh, should. This is going to be annoying. Yeah, I think it should told me that it was going to flinch after I use Iron Head, not after he uses Psychic. That's kind of weird. But you're on a timetable here with the Toxic. Go for another Iron Head and get rid of this Whimsicott. Boom. And then we'll see what my opponent will be bringing next. Psychic is going to KO the Venusaur, obviously, so yeah, we're reaching to the... Wow, that was a critical hit. <laughs> so, remember when I told you in one of the episodes where it was a super effective attack, a critical hit even, and you're at low HP. Massive overkill, right? <laughs> yep. Damn. Okay. Happened again. That happened again. So we're facing two fire types here. I wish I had Earthquake. Or I'll I go up I against Blaziken. Uh, I need a super effective move against it. 
yes, you will be me, obviously. So that's a shout and going to Kingston. I'm hoping it doesn't use um high jump kick, but again, you're faster than it, so I expect you to tear the blaziken. Or at least get close. Yes. It's super effective and everything. Okay, great. That's wonderful. So now we don't have to worry about Blaziken. And I can go for the fake out on the camera up. Using Solar Beam. It's not going to do as much, in my opinion. Yeah, so I think we're in a great position to use fake out and handle the camera wraps. Okay. And. I am going to do that. Okay. Ready to go. Mm-hmm. Let's see what happens here. King is gone. Mega evolving. It really has no change except for the little King is gone. Being out of the pouch and everything. But other than that, it hits twice and that's good. And then I use Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball, huh? I feel like Psychic would be stronger because then you could probably take out Camera Up, but it flinched. Yep. Because of my fake out! <laughs> Yay! Awesome. Now, let's go with the Sucker Punch. I will fast. I'll be faster than you. There we go. I'm a little bit tired, but it's okay. You can use Protect, and yep. I'll finish things off. Hopefully. Fail. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This, I... is, this isn't fair. Okay, you're using a Z power move. Sunny day. Okay, that's not an attacking move. That makes a lot more sense. Because if it was a Z yes, power move, no... I could have used Sucker Punch to KO you. Yes, but now the fire type moves are a lot more effective. Stronger, even. Yep. But it doesn't matter because Sucker Punch is going to wipe out. The camera wrapped. So I'm sorry, camera wrapped, even though your ability to get up the sun like that, I'm not gonna come to handle you there. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the end of the 15th battle. I have to double check. We have to double check. Yep. So Let's see. Where are we at right now? Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 16. Okay, so that's the last battle for this episode. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, something happened and uh, that was weird, but <laughs> it's okay. So we're going to continue on. This is our last video, or last battle of this video. And uh, we actually miscommunicated a little bit as far as how far we go with this video. But we're going to be doing our last battle here. So, Kubo 98, let's go ahead and continue here. Yeah, that was just, uh, I cut it out. I cut everything out as far as the miscommunication goes, so you can't really see much of that. But yeah, it happened. It, it was just a small miscommunicated thing there, but that's okay. I wonder what we're going to be dealing with in this last battle. So let's go ahead and One do it. One way to find out. All right. This should be fun. It looks like we're facing a Megan trainer. So those. Those kinds of trainers tend to be very skilled, so we have to be a little aware of that. Yeah, we have to be very wary. Mm -hmm. They can be very strong. Okay, Sylveon is a fairy type. I am scared of it. Um, the question is, should I stay in? And take the opportunity to go for Iron Head. This is risky. Yes, it is. Do what you think is best. Yeah. Let me think for a minute here. If I go for Iron Head, I'll probably get a flinch. Do a ton of damage. I think it would be best if we target. We did target. Did you target anyone yet? Yes. We did target. Sylveon. That's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go for Iron Head. Going to outspeed everyone. Because Choice Scarf. It doesn't affect damage output, but, you know, your speed is faster <laughs> than anyone here. Yeah, well. So I think, 
will be faster than Sylveon. You should be, anyway. Iron Head. Super effective. Psychic. Okay, great. Hopefully this KOs it. It yes. does. Yes. So now, I still have my Garchomp. And then Ray Great Nance. Okay, well. This is going to get very annoying very quickly, I think. Well, there's one way to find out, right? <laughs> yeah. Bussish. All right, Bussish is a water type, so I am locked in on Iron Head. I'm going to switch out of here because Iron Head is not going to be super effective for these guys. And we going to go into Kangaskhan while you go for whatever move you decide to go for. Yes. At this point, you can talk to anyone and that will handle whoever. I, I use Shadow Ball and Bussish, which should KO. Yes. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Muggy water. Okay, this is going to be interesting. How much damage will this do in the rain? Not bad. Oh, your accuracy fell. Yes. That did over half. Okay, that's fine. So now, let's do this again, guys. Break out on the Gastrodon. We have to face Gastrodon and then one more Pokemon. But that's fine. And then we'll be done with this episode. So there you have it. Mega <laughs> Alakazam and Mega Kangaskhan both are ready to go and handle whatever we have to deal with next. You know, Gastrodon and then the next Pokemon. Oh no, your accuracy is taking effect here. Yep. I think it's going to go for Muggy Water again, so let's go for the Sucker Punch. You're switching out, huh? Mm-hmm. Good thinking, because I'm pretty sure a freeze guy would do something too, but we'll see how much this does first. Well, it honestly depends on how much it does. Well, yeah. Okay. We're close. Use a counter. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Why was I even worrying? I barely did anything. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... I want to let you use freeze guy so I won't go for Sucker Punch. Am I faster than you, though? One way to find out. You are faster. So it wouldn't really matter. Yeah, but at least you use something against Gastrodon. Yeah. I kind of get the Mega's speed mixed up. That's why I keep asking, like, am I faster than you or am I <laughs> slower than you? That type of thing always gets me every time. Okay, so I'm going to go in for a Blizzard against Mudsdale. Is the rain still up? Okay. Yep. The accuracy effect might still... Well, I'm talking about the rain and blizzard at the same time. I think in the rain, the accuracy for blizzard isn't as high. One way to find out. We hit it, nevertheless. Has a berry. Ooh, the citrus berry? Yes. Oof. It's okay, I have return. And this should KO, but... Mm. Yeah, yep. it did. Great, so we took out Mudsdale. And there you go, guys. That's the end of this episode. That means that we're heading in. I think this is our sixth episode that we're reaching into. But Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And that means that we'll be facing four trainers in the next video. So the three remaining trainers, 17, 18, 19, and then the master trainer as your added bonus. I hope you guys look forward to that. If you guys enjoyed this episode of the Battle Tree collaboration, like the video, definitely subscribe to our channels, and we'll see you in the next battle video. See you later.